Hello everyone! Welcome to Skyblock One Block. This is the series where we spawn in on one single block and we've been building it out from there. Isn't it beautiful so far? If you missed the first episodes, I'm going to have them in a playlist which I will link down below. Starting off in this episode, I have been collecting some wood because I've big plans for this episode to do some building. We desperately need a mob farm so we can get arrows and bones and string and all of those lovely things, so that's what we're going to start with today. All of our creatures are doing well. We haven't had any accidents or despawns between episodes, so that is great. We're going to make use of this branch over here to do this. I don't know how far away from spawn I should be building a mob spawner, but I'm going to go fairly far away so that it's not just always active. I think right here should be about good. We are going to do a uh, three by three hole because of how I am. I cannot do a two by two when we have a central one block and three by three here. I just, I can't. Although I do have to make sure it's centered. Is this centered? Yeah, that is centered. It's just the tree isn't centered. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it really threw me off for a moment. All right, am I mentally prepared for what I'm about to take on? Let me get rid of anything valuable that I have on me. Um, yeah, that's fine. And up we go. So I'm gonna do a fancy design with this. I played a lot of Skyblock in my day and I used to love creating different designs for mob farms. And one of the cool little tricks that I used to do was to do the edges entirely in slabs because it would look really cool going up. So that's my plan for this one is to do rings of slabs instead of solid blocks. Let me show you what I mean. So this prismarine right here is where our creatures are going to land. I'm then going to just completely surround this in slabs. For the purpose of this build, I'm going to use a ladder to get up and down. We're having the mobs fall 22 blocks and hopefully once they fall that amount, it'll be easy to punch them. All I gotta do now is go all the way around with these slabs. So do you see how I'm leaving like a little one slab gap and then I'm going again? It just gives me a lot of nostalgia from like 2013 playing Skyblock and I'm really loving it, I'm not gonna lie. This is great. All right, and I think the move once we get this high up is to just do the full blocks. This way it'll be kinda dark, at least inside it won't be affected by these slabs. Hopefully that'll stay true. Look how cool that looks already. <laughs> you can't tell me that's not worth it. And it saves on materials. I mean, look at it. I just... What? Excuse me? You're just going for a swim? You know what? I think I'm gonna pass. Really cool trades though. You know what? Normally I wouldn't do this. I really like leaving wandering traders alone. But this is free leads. The llamas are gonna be so mad. <gasps> did I get the leads? I did. Okay, I'm sorry llamas. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm fine. It's fine. Um, We're cool, right? Water llamas? Are you guys shooting at me from over there? My gosh, what a spit range. Jeez, snipers. Building mob farms is for some reason just something you never forget how to do. I didn't Google a tutorial. I didn't even look up any of the proper heights or anything. This is just, for some reason I just know how to do this. It's like riding a bike, I don't know. Actually, one of my very first videos, actually maybe my first video to ever get a thousand views on this channel, was a Skyblock video where I built one of these. I want to see if I can go find that. That is probably a very funny video. <laughs> the sad part about these is there is kind of no way to make them look completely amazing. I've tried a lot of things. I used to do them and cover them in like castles or something like that. Gosh, I was addicted to Skyblock. I've had some big Skyblock builds in my day before YouTube, but not gonna try that here because I've tried just about everything and I know it doesn't work. It's just as well that we embrace the way that a mob farm looks, we lean into it, we fully accept it, and we reap the benefits. Progress update, it's almost done. Just waiting on a little bit more spruce wood so that I can fill in the roof. And then we'll be good to go. And now for the scariest part, we knock out these torches and we try to get down and remove that ladder. 
hopefully I've done all of this correctly. Final step, the ladder. And then this should be a working mob farm, in theory, if I did everything right. Oh, I hear mobs spawning. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, that was down here. You gave me a lot of false hope just then. That was mean. Okay, okay, close the door. <laughs> close the door. Um, <laughs> it works! It works, okay. Now I just need to expand this platform out so that I can walk around it. Cool! Oh my gosh. Oh, they're fighting each other, look! They're fighting each other making music discs. <gasps> Thank you. It's because the skeletons can see me through the slabs, right? Like they have some sort of line of sight to me and they're getting mad and hitting the creepers. I'm not mad. Skeletons, you are kind of taking my XP though. Whoa. Look at all the discs. <laughs> Whoa, I got a potato as well. Okay. This has been done for like three seconds. I'm not even kidding. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's working a little too well, but look at this. Look at all the music discs. I got a potato. I got a potato. Oh my goodness. I'm thrilled. This is amazing. Look how many mobs. Oh my goodness. Hello friends, what's up? Now I know what you're thinking. Surely if she used all of her brain cells here, she would know that if the skeletons can see her, so can the creepers. Yeah, no. Um, that's, this is not good. This is, um, I've made an error. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So fun fact, if the skeletons can see you, so can the creepers. Just putting that out there. Mm. Okay, I was so excited. I was so excited. I had so many things going for me. I got a little too, little too happy. Okay, let me um, fix my error. Okay, I've decided that I'm going to fix this by going up and just shutting off the mob spawner. I'm just gonna go upwards, I'm gonna place a bunch of torches inside, and I'm gonna shut it off. Oh yeah, Gem, it's gonna be such a peaceful Saturday morning. You're just gonna get on and make a mob spawner and it's gonna be beautiful and then you're gonna peacefully mine the one block and you're gonna peacefully make a farm and it's all gonna be just rainbows and sunshine and... Okay, why can we, why is it entirely skeletons and creepers? Like, can we talk about that a little more? Cause like, why? Like, <laughs> seriously, what have I done to deserve this? Genuinely, what, <laughs> what, what, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, don't know. One hit creepers, yes, come on, get in line, heck yeah. <sighs> okay, it's fine. All right, so we're gonna fix that problem by simply adding a slab right here to solidify this bottom part, the way you nothing can see us except maybe baby zombies but they're not gonna get through so it's fine and they don't explode most importantly good news it still works so we haven't broken anything right i'm done i'm not touching it <laughs> it's fine i'm okay if i never see a mob spawner again to be honest this has been an entire hour fiasco and it's uh, oh why have i done that time to update the map Ooh, okay. Okay, I don't hate that. That's, st that's still looking quite good, actually. That's good. Okay, so it's been a chaotic episode so far. I think what we do, we lean into the chaos. We just lean in, go a little bit more, and we mine this block. We get all the evokers, get all the things. I've got my shield ready. I don't have any boots on, which is odd, but that's f it's fine. Let's just go. I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. Okay, I did it. Where you're hurting my horse? No, 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 no! You don't get to, you don't get to do that. <gasps> Stop it! No! What is hurting my horse? The snowman? Oh, I'm gonna die! I'm scared. <laughs> it just sank into the floor, and we never saw it again. Okay, they got stuck in the boat. Thank goodness. Gosh, you guys are little evil. Fairy things are, oh, I hate it. Chest. Ooh, pretty. 
green dye though, I would much rather have an actual cactus than green dye, but that's fine, that's fine. Whoop, panda, hello. You're so cute. Okay, <laughs> so we are going to end up having a panda problem. We're gonna have too many pandas, but it's okay because I'm gonna make a panda sanctuary. I'm sure this is probably a bad idea, but I am just gonna bring my horses over here towards my house. Hey, come on, through the gate. Surely it's not that hard. Come on, please. You're not allowed to fall off the edge, okay? You're not allowed, stay. Also, I just realized we have two pandas, which has made me irrationally excited about the prospect of being able to breed pandas because we have bamboo. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so cute. I need a really big panda area. Getting a lot of lapis. Oh. Stop spawning Vex, they're evil. Stop it. Oi, no little fairy dude. Where'd it go? Oh, gotcha. Oh, I'm like a professional Vex killer at this point. Heck yeah, you can't get to me. Little fairies, nuh-uh, none of that. We're not doing that. I'm in danger. <laughs> I quickly eat? No! <laughs> I'm just gonna try and eat. This is so rude, right? Let me sleep. I'm s I'm just contemplating life while I slept there. Um, okay. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I really gotta stop dying to Vex though. This is insane at this point. Did I lose anything? Oh, I hope I didn't lose anything. Oh! Parrot! Oh, you're so cute! Please don't fall off the edge. Hi. Hi, can we be friends? Please? Please. Oh, I only had three left. That was real close. Where are you going? Where are we going? Well, um, mm, chests, coal, and okay. They gave me paper. I've been wishing, I've been wishing for sugarcane. They gave me paper. Oh gosh. No, 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 nope, 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 not in this house. Not in this house. Oh, that was a mistake. That was, I, that was a mistake. Whoops. I think my main issue is I just can't keep my eye on them very well. Like, they're, they're everywhere. Dude, go away. They can just attack from all sides because they go through walls. Like, there's not a ton I can do. Oh, gosh. Okay, there's one more left alive. Okay, it hit my shield. I'm gonna quickly eat. Hold the shield up. Oh, no, 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 ouch, jeez. I survived. I survived that attack. All right, okay. It's so hard. I don't, I mean, maybe it's just because I'm a builder and a PvP noob, but I don't know how to fight that any better. Like, I feel like I'm using my shield. Like, I, I'm not the greatest at the shield, I'll admit that, but like, three Vex is a lot of Vex. Whoop, chest, <gasps> vines, yes, 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 and music this cat. Cool, I might already have that one because, oh no, I actually don't, I actually don't. Okay, brilliant. Wow, my chests are a lot, huh? Well, I can grow vines, so that is something I will definitely be farming. Thank you very much. So I can make use of all of these flowers I have because in 1.15, which is the version that I'm currently using, if a birch tree grows next to a flower, it has a greater chance of spawning with a bee. I, it could be a bunch of different trees, but I think birch tree has the greater chance or something like that. I don't, I don't know the exact science, but anyways, I'm gonna use this area and see if I can get a hive. The map might eventually give me a hive anyways, and I won't have to worry about it, but this could be like a cute little side project. And then some birch saplings. Sorry, birdie, you do gotta move. There you go, thank you. All right, so with any luck, We'll have some bees on the island, and bees are good because they can fly. They don't have to worry about them half as much. Another horse. Okay, why are there so many horses spawning in the jungle phase? I don't know, but you're really pretty, so just just move over there, please. Yep, go on, join the pandas. There we go. <gasps> Another bird! <gasps> Come here, bird! Oh my goodness, you're so precious. Oh, and you only use two seeds. I love you. Very careful, sit. Okay, I have actually have so many birds now and they're three different colors, which is so great. Another chest. This one is giving us our first jungle sapling. I think it's our first jungle sapling. 
It's our first jungle sapling. Cool. Let's grow that. I know that I have a tree area, but I just want to like multiply this sapling. So I'm gonna put it right there. I just need, I need more than one. So I'll, I'll remove it from there once it grows and gives me more saplings. Another witch. That's enough. <laughs> At least they give cool drops, I guess. Oh no, not you again. No, 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 no. Oh dear. Oh, I am in trouble this time. Oh my gosh, you evil little fairies, I hate them! Also, I'm standing in this spot again where I'll lose items if I die. So that's good. Please, please go away. Please. Ah! <laughs> I'm, I'm so scared. <laughs> oh my gosh. Diamonds! Oh, thank goodness. They're finally being nice to us in this game. This episode has been so chaotic. <laughs> I'm so sorry to those of you watching it who are like, what is she doing? Um, I don't know. I don't know. But here we are. Super chest, eggs, okay. Honestly, nothing that I didn't already have, but that's okay. There we go. <gasps> Upgrading! Yes. I've done it. Okay, I'm very curious to see what the next level is. Cannot wait. The desert is a hostile place of heat, dust, and death. That's really dramatic because the last phase, the last phase was entirely death. Also, I've been curious of something. Can I fish in here? Like, I feel like I can, right? Like, I can just chill on my island and fish. I feel like this might be offending my fish. I should probably stop. I don't, I don't need to be doing this in front of them. I'm sorry. On that note, everyone, I do believe that is all the time I have for the Skyblock episode. Thank you so much for watching. This has been episode four. We got so much done today. We built a mob grinder, we got through a full phase. I hope that you guys are all enjoying this little mini series of Skyblock. This is episode four. I don't know how many more I'm gonna do. Probably, I'm probably feeling another one, to be honest. I do, I do wanna kind of expand my island a little bit more, but after that, I don't really know. Let me know what you guys are thinking. If you have any ideas of stuff for me to do on this island, let me know your thoughts. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.